All right, so got our two panniers on. We're going to do this uh, particular diamond hitch on a Decker saddle with uh, panniers and Decker Ds, but diamond hitch is uh, originally designed for top packs on sawbucks. It can be used on either type of saddle. Great hitch for any top load. So I'm going to use a fairly small top load just so you can see the whole process. Put your top load on here. It goes across perpendicular with the animal. Make sure it's centered. If it's too far one side, that's going to throw our balance off. So top load looks pretty center. Now we are going to cover this with a mani. Keeps the dust off, rain off, stuff like that. So instead of walking up to your mule and just heaving this over his back, which might spook him, I'm going to kind of lay this out and just roll it up a little bit. I'm going to throw this on his hip. And just kind of roll it forward. Okay, and make sure we're centered. Up behind your box. Okay, on this front here, tuck it behind this front D. That way I can keep an eye on my saddle, make sure it's not rolling on me. diamond hitch is a lash cinch. And these are about 45 to 50 feet long. Okay, to start, kind of find the center of your rope. You should be able to just kind of split your coils. Alright, throw it tail out to the tail of the mule. Okay. Start with my cinch here. Like I said, starting about the middle of your rope. First step is rope goes lengthwise down along the mule's back. Okay, take your cinch, kind of coil it, touch it over the mule, and catch it. Hook it. Right here, you want to center this cinch, which is easy to do just like this. So we want to center that cinch, just pull it snug, throw a half hitch on this hook. Okay, now here again with every hitch, we're working with our tension. So this is my tension side, I'm going to bring it up. Keep your hands shoulder width apart. Two full twists over the top. So I just brought this up, hand shoulder width apart, and go over half. So this loop that just kind of magically appears is going to be my offside loop. This loop that I just made is my onside loop. So basically this thing is built, all we have to do is put it on. So we always start the diamond hitch on this offside rear corner. And we always finish it in this same spot. 
So we're going to take our loop. This hitch goes under the box. It doesn't have to go behind. It goes under the box. Just taking slack out as I go. Okay. Get here. Take your slack out. All right. Now right here, I'm either going to have to go under this mule's neck or go behind him, and I don't want to lose my tension. So just take a little tuck, and that'll hold it. Okay, now we're on the onside front quarter. I'm just going to continue on. Here is where I stretch the first part of my diamond. Easy, Johnny. So you can pull pretty tight here. Under the box, continuing on. Finish this right where I started. Here you can crank on it. All right, and you can see the diamond forming up top there. The bigger the top load you have, the bigger the diamond you want. All right, so once you get her good and tight, we're gonna come under the box again. And we're just gonna tie it off with a packer's knot. Loop over, swing it under. a half inch. And this hitch sucks the top load to the bottom of the panniers. Alright, it does not necessarily suck the top load to the bottom of the mule. So this is fairly loose under here, that lash cinch. So if you're going to put this up, you can just daisy chain it, which is just loops through. Alright, and then tuck it back behind one of these ropes, but that's kind of uh, bulky and uh, not really a good quick release if something goes haywire. So you quick release on these diamond hitches, just come over here on this hook, and we're just going to pop that half hitch, pop that, and this whole hitch is off in a matter of seconds. 